Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm so happy that you're joining us this morning. I'm here with my my friend and my my own business mentor, Rubel Chandy. And um, we're, we're going to have a great conversation today. Um, and uh, Rubel suggested today that we start with a prayer, just a quick prayer to send some good intentions to the people around the world, to the people in Italy, to the people. Um, I have a special prayer for the people, the doctors and nurses that are really struggling on the front lines right now. So let's if, let's just start with, let's maybe close our eyes for just a few minutes, just a few seconds even, and send some love, send some good intention and hope around the world. Well, thank you so much. And um, I think it's important to add our add our hope and our good energy into the world right now, Rubel. Absolutely, absolutely. And and let me uh, say something about the seriousness of the situation. So this is a very uh, unique and a very serious situation. This is something that we are going to remember uh, 50 years from now, 40 years from now, and say that, oh, remember that happened? Like, like the way we, like our parents or grandparents refer to World War II, right? So it's a very significant event in history. But whenever there is a significant event in the history, there is a significant opportunity for humanity and for, for, for the collective and the individual. So it is, it is a massive shift in the way uh, we see the world, uh, massive shift in the way we live, and it's a massive shift in terms of opportunities. And we would be covering all those things uh, and answering any questions that you might put in, in the chat uh, through this conversation. Yeah, yeah, I think that's um, I think that's true. And and for me, the energy feels like the shift. It feels like it's two. There's two streams of energy, and what, <clears throat> it's almost like a death rebirth kind of energy. That's how it feels to me. Like <clears throat> one part of the stream feels very heavy and dense and there's a lot of fear and the other part feels kind of hopeful like there's change and opportunity and and it's it's hard for me in a way to handle both of those at the same time like i feel really um <clears throat> i don't know like it's taking a lot of my my mental and psychic energy to manage the Im immenseness of this event in a way yeah so uh, about that uh, uh, i want to talk about that uh, but before that let me make sure that we all understand the seriousness and we are doing the right precautions and doing being intelligent about all these things i am taking this very seriously so this uh, this like i said this is why i said this is a major event in in history uh, and so you need to wash your hands make sure that you don't touch your nose or face do your best and if you if you don't have hand sanitizer soap you soap and everything else and there are so many videos that i did with multiple doctors uh, in my own Facebook Live, which you could go back and refer and make sure that you follow instructions. And if you cannot find a doctor, you, if, you, if you have an illness and you need to find a doctor, there are online sources. Search online, find a doctor, consult with them, and make sure that you get you do take care of you the best way you can and, and as intelligently as you can. So that is really, really important, guys. And we need to make sure that we flatten the curve so that we don't overwhelm the system, the medical, the, the economic, uh, it, it, none of those systems, so that we, we can go past this and, and look at it and say, OK, there is a learning that I took from that, but I was very intelligent. I took care of my family uh, by being very, very intelligent and doing everything that doctors are recommending. So that is really, really important. That being said, in complete uncertainty, is where I have seen uh, total peace. So, so our mind tries to hang on to our past. And when you feel a level of uncertainty that is unmatched, and when you reach a point where you feel face like almost this is like a death, life death situation, that's when you start to get, get the freedom from mind. And even for that moment, right? Even for that moment that you are mindless for a 
for a second, for, for one minute, for like 10 minutes. And that window is opening for many people right now because in complete uncertainty, you become free from your mind. That's when you, you have a new birth. You take, you're taking on a new life and you are moving, uh, you're moving into a completely different level of spiritual uh, realm. So point is, uh, Lisa, if you are feeling that heaviness on of the transition, it's just the cocoon. Cocoon's prayer are never answered. Like cocoon is like praying that, oh my gosh, keep me like this. Keep me to be this beautiful. You know, make sure that I stay this beautiful for the rest of my life. And then, you know, as she is praying, she is transforming. Her legs are getting deformed. And um, and it becomes a caterpillar. And then caterpillar is praying, oh my gosh, please make sure that I stay in this phase. So I could be beautiful. I could walk around. You know, I have the gift of walking. Uh, and uh, that prayer is never answered unless they are dead, right? So, so when you become that butterfly, if you are able to see that beautiful peace in, in complete level of uncertainty, uh, then you have transitioned into a completely different level of beauty in life. Yeah, I mean, I love that analogy. And I think it's, it's, a, it's sort of what's, it's what's happening to all of us. Like, you know, there's such an incredible pa pattern interrupt that's going on here. That's kind of breaking down of the old systems that we've had um, in place. And then <clears throat> I and I think it's sort of the natural order of things that things we go into these natural deconstruction cycles. Um, we we grow. We we have a time of sustaining that growth, and then things change. That's the way the energy in the universe flows, and we're we're caught up in that time. And that <clears throat> I think many of us have um, have come here at this point in time to help, you know, to assist during the transformation, to add our light to the new thing that's coming. And then I think as long as we can manage our, our own inner states, we have the opportunity to do that. How, yeah. how do you do it, Rubel? How do, like, how do you manage yeah. yourself during this time? So, so first of all, this is a leadership moment. This is a defining moment of humanity. And this is a defining moment for anybody who is conscious. Like, you know, anybody who, who is in a spiritual path or uh, anybody who is serving other people using business or your teaching or something else, you being a thought leader, this is your defining moment to step up to leadership. Because if you are able to step up to leadership, Wilson Churchill said, never pass a crisis without an opportunity. So this is a man who basically led World War II Hitler was like about to conquer like multiple countries and probably defeat UK. And this man gave a speech. And then with this, whether he had his own challenges, but this is a man who had the right mindset to handle such a big crisis. And he also says, uh, I'm paraphrasing, when the right moment uh, for you to step up and give leadership shows up, if you're not ready, it's not going to be useful. Uh, I mean, so there is a reason why we are here right now is to step up to leadership and own it and take this as a defining moment and do the uncomfortable. Like for me, uh, you know, many things are not comfortable. So for me, like, you know, we have this video at uh, like 7.15 Eastern time and I slept at 11.30 and for me waking up at 5.30, not just for this video, but I need to make sure that I do my morning uh, power, what I call as power ceremony. So I, you know, gyms are closed. I went to the beach, uh, like I live like 10, five, seven miles from beach. And then I went to the beach like three days ago and beaches were closed. It's just my beach as in nobody else is in the beach. But the one police officer came to me and said, you cannot walk on the beach anymore because, you know, if, if you do that, many people are going to come. I know it's only you, but you know what, what we can, you cannot come to the beach anymore. So then I'm like, I cannot go to gym. I cannot do anything. So I, uh, we have a bicycle. So some, some days I take bicycle uh, at like 5.15 or 5.30 and go for a ride, drive, I mean, go for five, five miles or like I will walk or run uh, or a mix of it. But we, this is a time that we need to work out, right? Mm -hmm. Use our body, uh, the, use the miracle of our body to activate and get ready for it. This is a time we must meditate. This is a time we need to manage our state of mind. So I have my, I'm going to show you, I have my phone on uh, phone on silent mode uh, or airplane mode, basically. It's flying on an airplane. So I don't get text. I don't get, 
uh, any messages. I don't get any emails. I don't get any alerts until uh, until I am ready. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, I do all those things, and this is what I encourage you to do. My clients to do that. Don't check any news. Like world, this is not an explosion situation. World is not going to explode like in the morning. You can check like two times a day what is happening in like maybe maybe at noon and maybe in the evening. But if you keep on checking media to see what is going on, one media has to sell their stuff. Uh, so there is an element of uh, exaggeration in the communication. But you know, go to Google News or something and say, okay, oh, this is what is happening. Okay, it is serious, but at the same time, I'm not obsessed with media. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, me too. And I, I find the the media fast is very, very important to because it's so um easy to plug into the collective fear, you know, the kind of the hive mind or the um the group fear. And that I think when I plug into that too much, it amplifies it for me. And it's especially as a sensitive and an empath, I feel really like overwhelmed by the collective consciousness of humanity's fear right now. So I really need to take those those big breaks and and I'm wondering, Rubel, so Rubel, you're the author of a book, um, and it's called um, 90 Days to Life. Is that the name yeah. the name of your book? And you have also your uh, your business strategist in your program is called Business Accelerator Seminars, and they're they're held all over the world. So your specialty, even though you're, you're um, you know, this wise spiritual person who's bringing your gifts to the world through the world of business and working with entrepreneurs and quite and also quite big businesses too, What what's going on? Um, for in the world of of business, and how can we as entrepreneurs um, and business leaders handle the situation? There's a lot of worry about that right now, too. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, let's let me talk about the reality of the situation. Is that uh, the the way governments are, are acting right now? The, the depending on the way governments are acting all over the world, we could step in. We would definitely step into a recession. Almost most definitely will step into recession, and we could get into worse situations economically as well. That is for the collective, right? So we have shifted into an economic. I mean, my metaphor for this is because you mentioned spirituality, is that we were in a spiritual recession for the last few years. Mm -hmm. So we are transforming that spiritual recession into a, a financial recession. Uh, that's what is happening. So because of this virus, we are actually stepping out of the spiritual recession. Essentially, human beings are connected to each other. We're trying to bond with each other. We are trying to um, trying to be be uh, belong with each other and spend more time. Although we are at home, we are connecting with our home members, like our children, like our family, our wives, husbands, everything, or or anybody else. And you are like so much more. There is so much more importance for connection. Right now, it was a significant driven, significance driven world for the last few years, and and that that switch, knowing that that there is a switch that is happening, which is on one level, on another level, world is switching from a heavy masculine, masculine dominant dominant uh, culture to mm -hmm. a feminine uh, prominent culture. So, which means feminine values are going to be much more important uh, in the business right now yeah, you know the world business is built like for the last let's say uh, 4 million years whatever we did as humans uh, in work were defined by men for men like that uh, culture is shifting because obviously men screwed up like we screwed up guys you know that's why we are here right because we knew like bill gates were, was warning about this for for uh, mm -hmm. for like for 5 years and then governments, they, they didn't take it seriously. They thought, you know what, let's make sure that mm, our country is safe and X, Y, C. But we are not a country anymore. We are like one world. Right? So essentially, men screwed up. So in order for us to not screw up again, we need to have the feminine uh, energy come in. Like when I say feminine energy, compassion, love, caring, and those kind of things were missing in this world. So when we are sit switching from one place, one paradigm to a different paradigm, so many new opportunities are created. So that is the abstract, the, the conceptual level of the idea. But let's go into the tangible. So right now, everybody is forced to sit at home. Now, your customers are sitting at home trying to figure out where they want to go. For example, they, they might be going through a transition. Like 
most of all of them are going through a transition. So if you're a consultant, if you're a coach, or if, if you're somebody who thinks for living and think and deliver your ideas for living, this is a perfect time to, to create an online component for your business and then start, uh, uh, start doing that full time probably. It is possible that we might not even go back to the normal uh, in terms of people working in offices and stuff like that. It might completely change because of this. We don't know how long we are going to sit home. It could be three months. It could be six months. It could be one year. So yeah. because of that, like, you know, you could use a Zoom video like uh, like or, you know, Zoom video conference or any video conference and start helping people from home and get used to it because and the faster you could adapt to the situation and become a super adapter and start using online tools and start developing a new product if you don't have an online product already if if you don't have a virtual product already start building a virtual product whether it is in person communication with another person because everyone is confused right now everyone it's not like when i say everyone i almost never use the word everyone you know almost everyone is confused not here in the us not in canada all over the world like everywhere people are looking for answers they want to see what is going on here like what am i supposed to do right and some of them some of them have money they just wanted to gain that clarity so you could be a coach or if you are a brick and mortar company then what can you do online? What can you do online? Is there a service level product? Is there an information product that you could deliver? Because the world is of information. For example, no Italy knowing what was going to happen two weeks ago would have changed the total paradigm for Italy, right? Uh, for US knew that. I mean, it didn't change much much for us. Uh, but uh, but the point is that the point is that, and if we have right information at the right time. And then if we could act on it, it's going to open so many opportunities for business people. So if you are in challenge right now, step back and say, you know what, ask this question rather than asking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Everything is gone versus how can I make it better online? How can I make my business better right now as I'm going through this situation? And your mind will be like, no way, there's nothing you could do. And then you keep on asking that question, like within a few weeks, these answers are going to come to you and you know when the, when you get those answers okay test it do it online there are free uh, zoom can be uh, you know you could get zoom for free uh, up to 45 minutes of video conference so start creating an online a virtual version of your business does that make sense yeah it does it's <clears throat> such good advice and i think like if you're if we're paying attention if we're we have flexible thinking if we're adaptable um, as as entrepreneurs and business people, we can see what the opportunities are right now, um, because there are as things change and the world is always changing anyway. But as things change, there are, there are openings, there are needs that need to be satisfied. There there um, there are if we're adaptable, we can sort of see those things and figure out how we can serve in this new environment. Beautiful. You mentioned the word need, so it's beautiful like so go back to your business and see what need in your customer uh, like you know have you been meeting right now and what need can you meet online right now or what wants the needs can be met online right now and then start adding value to them right away right so there could be like a phenomenal opportunity that you that you could embrace right now and if you are if you are if you have a specific question about it you could send me a message on facebook um you could send me a message on facebook or you could um reach out to my team and then i'll be happy to chat with you and see if i could help you in any way with your business yeah yeah rubles is an incredible um business strategist and i and i work with him he's my my business strategist and mentor too and um <clears throat> and it was a it was a very quick conversation um you know where i really laid out my whole business and he said oh you do these five things and you have a whole and i was like Oh my God! And and it's in hindsight, I was like, how could how could I not have thought of that myself? And yet I couldn't. Sometimes I think I can't. We can't see ourselves our way out of our own limited thinking or the places where we're we're blocking ourselves or we're not aware of what could be. And uh, Rubel really has a genius for I think pulling the best out of people, um, not only in terms of their business but also in terms of their entrepreneurship. And and I think it, 
working with you has been also a personal growth for me to process for me too, because I've had to really <clears throat> stretch my, my inner state, you know, my inner self to meet, you know, the, the change. And it's kind of like, I'll take, I'll take a step forward and then I have to work really hard to get my, my inner self on board with the new, this new way. And when you said sort of stepping into a leadership role or stepping into power, stepping into a broader, onto a broader stage. Um, it, it, it's really a 50, 50 thing for me. And, and, um, and what's I think so unusual and amazing about Rubel is he's good at both sides of it, you know, and I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to move forward if I hadn't done the inner, the inner self work. Thank you. And ultimately that's the point guys. Uh, and Lisa, thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for having the humility to have uh, somebody on your side uh, to help you scale up the business. So I'm honored to be working with you and I love working with you, with <laughs> you and your team. So here's the thing guys, uh, whether it is business uh, or, or your career or anything that you do, the external, external things are relative. So most of the people, the, the Western world, seem to think that we need to have uh, we need to have like the best sales strategies we need to have the best marketing strategies we need to have the best this this that but you know gandhi did not go to harvard and got an mba in in marketing right but like or martin luther king did not go to like oxford and got his pr uh, you know phd in public relationship <laughs> they did not right yeah. so what happened was they were aligned with the mission. Their internal self was aligned. Their internal self were aligned with the mission that they had. And they, they just, just grew up to that. Like So they didn't know marketing. They didn't know sales. Basically, they sold to millions and millions of people. Like Gandhi sold, was, was one of the greatest salesmen of the century. In, a, in, a, in all, all beauty, he sold the idea of freedom or fight for freedom, for freedom fight without violence. He sold the idea like that, right? So he was able to sell to millions of people this idea. Martin Luther King was able to sell the, uh, you know, freedom for African-Americans in, in the United States and that rippled into many other countries too. So why these people were able to influence the world? It's not because of the, this new marketing tool that they had. They had this amazing tool that they used to manipulate people or, figure out like you know increase conversion online they didn't have google or youtube or facebook right they didn't have internet they didn't have a freaking mobile phone right at the time <laughs> right so there was no way there was no meetup right so and and two point i think around um 000 people showed up for martin luther king's i have a dream speech without uh without do, posting it in facebook or um social media or like you know anything like that because they were aligned. So thank you for saying that, Lisa. The beautiful thing is once you are aligned completely with your business and once your business becomes your mission uh, and when you're totally caring and when your business becomes a mission, it flows naturally. And that's where this there is a major confusion that is going on in the business world right now. Now, when everybody else is like some people are you know surviving trying to survive and they're like battling death how could i do business right now right so uh and this is a fascinating thing like uh you know a christian saint his name is dominic savi he was a young kid he died at the age of 11 or like 8 or 9 or something uh, you know around like 10 years old maybe 12 around that age and he was asked like when do you want to die like you know where do you want to be like be when you die because he was very sick and he was going to die. And he said, I would be playing. I want to be in the playground when I die. Right. So for me, uh, we could go into the fear and start feeling guilty that, oh, my gosh, how could I talk about my product when I when people are dying? Right. Uh, versus if you are totally aligned, if, if you are Gandhi or if you are Martin Luther King, and if this is happening, you would still do your mission. And you could contribute all the money that you have to these courses if you want, right? But you need to make sure that you are in congruence with what you're doing. And then you are delivering like so much more value. My metaphor is like at least deliver 10 times more value than the money that they are paying you 
so that we could get people out of this 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 challenge right now uh, psychologically and then all of us will be uh, beautifully uh, on the other side uh, you know in, in a happy um, as a happy universe yeah that's beautiful it's beautiful advice um thank you so much i love it and i i love the idea of that of this the being aligned with your mission like i've always felt that way for my own my own work um and and i keep coming back to i was born for this this is i'm you know i'm a healer and i train healers psychics and empaths to really fully step into their gifts so that they can go out and do what they need to do because and this is our time now as healers this is what we're here for so it and it's so i think important for everyone who's not just healers but everyone who's bringing their work to the world like we need it we need all of us to be doing that right now not to turn away from it out of fear but to step into it because there's so much need and every person is fulfilling their part of the puzzle when we really let ourselves do it absolutely and to to your point and in, in, anyone who's listening who's a healer or who's in a spiritual path i would like you to embrace this mind uh, mental model from lisa uh, just like uh, Lisa said, in her case, I know that she was born for this. And in your case, start believing that you are born to step into leadership. Just like Churchill said, when there is a major crisis going on, uh, and if you if you have been getting prepared for all this, and then you didn't do nothing and you were not prepared for it, if Churchill was not prepared for Second World War, then uh, then the world's destiny could have been different could be significantly could have been significantly different so you are that churchill if you're listening to this uh in the right now or later and step up to leadership and say i was born for this and then the, the petty uncertainty that i'm feeling inside i validate that i respect that but the, the, the beautiful thing is this is this is another extension of that thought one of the uh, one of the declaration that i say to myself is i am a fountain and a foundation of absolute certainty so what is lost right now is certainty because we are not cert like certain and i left i mean i lived through uncertainty and many people live through uncertainty and imagine uh, the, the floor that you are sitting i mean wherever you are sitting you must be in a floor like you know there is like carpet or something a house wherever you are imagine if you are not sure that floor is going to hold you then you are not going to feel certain generally speaking your mind is not going to feel certain and that is similar to what we are feeling right now that's why we need to get more and more aligned to certainty inner certainty so that we don't need to be seeking certainty and when you start seeking certainty you go for food you go for uh, emotions that are not, not not empowering you you go for things that are not helping you and you go into that emotion that's going to create a vicious cycle that's going to pull us back as well yeah that's great. So, Rubel, how can people get in touch with you if they want to read your book or find out more about your work or work with you? How how can they find you? Yeah. So, um, uh, in my case, you could you could actually send an email to my team, help at rubelchandy.com, H-E-L-P at uh, rubelchandy.com, R-U-B-L-E-C-H-A-N-D-Y.com. At this at this time, uh, you know, my team can actually. Um, actually schedule a time with me and go from there. They could send you a link to schedule a time with you. And I'll be happy to talk to you and listen to you and see, see like, you know, if there is any way that I could help you. And if I'm not able to, if I see that, you know, this is not a perfect thing for, for both of us, you know, I'll be happy to send you to somebody that I know who could help you, right? So uh, go, go to like, or go to rubelchandy.com that's my website, and we do events in different uh, countries in the world. We were supposed to do three events this uh, this summer, and we canceled all of them. And we are doing an online event, uh, actually static today. But those those are not open uh, at this point. Uh, but uh, it will be open again pretty soon, and then I'll be happy to um, help you in any way I can. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rubel, and thank you for joining. Um joining us on Facebook Live. Thank you for being part of my team, um, part of my absolute couldn't, couldn't do without uh, team. So I so appreciate you and the wisdom that you're, you're, you're bringing to the world, to the business community, to me personally. Like I, I, and I'm really so grateful for you. And I 
really grateful that you took time out of your incredibly busy day <laughs> to be on, um, on, on live with us today, because I think what you're saying is so important, and I wanted to bring that message out to everybody. Thank you. And in final final comment from my side is start to learn how to run a business from home. Some of us have been doing this for a long time. <laughs> right? yeah. So how to manage people? Figure out how to manage people online, how to manage people virtually, how to run all this infrastructure virtually, how to communicate with people and things like that. And, uh, and we could we could actually talk one other time about how to run a business from home, because that's where we all are going. Yeah, so thank you so much. I'm, I'm honored to be part of this uh, movement. And you know, I hope you are able to see yourself as a person who are born, uh, not just you, Lisa, but all of, of each of you who are listening to see yourself as you were born for this a time like this. And this is our this is our wake up call. This is our defining moment that is going to define who we are, uh, who we are, uh, and what we stand for. Mm, thank, thank you so much, Rubal. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you.